Hello loves, Stasha the Period Coach here, and we are continuing our Smoothies and Flow series, hashtag Smoothies and Hoodies. Download the guide, you'll get it. And do feel free to post your smoothie recipes, your takes, your ideas in our Facebook group, also link below. We are going to dive into the follicular and the ovulation phase today. So last week we did menstrual phase, feel free to go back and watch that. And we're doing them together because basically what happens is you come out of menstruation and you've got that flat line of hormones and then they start to rise in follicular and they peak at ovulation. And then they go down and they do some other stuff in Loodle, which we'll talk about next week. But for this week, we're just dealing with this rise of this energy. And what's happening is in your follicular phase, your, your eggs in your ovaries are on these little things that look like fingers and they grow and expand just like a sprout coming out of the ground. And they ripen an egg at the end and then release the egg for ovulation. So there's more than just your estrogen happening here, but your estrogen rising is what really makes you feel that energy, the outgoingness, the libido starts to rise during this phase, the luteinizing hormones, FSH, or all of these things are happening. So your hormones are basically on the rise during this phase. So what we wanna do during this phase, because our immune system is also boosted with our estrogen levels, we wanna make sure that we're not getting too much estrogen which we get it from a lot of outside sources these days, pollution and the toxicity and everything. So it's not just our body. So we wanna make sure that we're pulling out the excess estrogen. So we wanna make sure we've got some fiber in our smoothies. We also wanna make sure that we're helping support our liver and really getting a good detox in during this time. Getting rid of the excess estrogen is definitely a key point here, but we just wanna make sure we're really supporting our liver, supporting our body, making sure we get in some of those greens. For the follicular smoothie, I chose parsley. It's a great spring green. The follicular phase is represented by the element wood and by the season spring. Parsley is a perfect one for this. It's got that nice fibrous stalk and stem to it. Uh, but it's very springtime herb. And then also pomegranates, which might not really think of as springtime, but it's got those really woody pulp seeds in them. And they are just such a great fruit for our body, for helping pull in some vitamin C, getting some of those antioxidants in there. It's just a really great uh, fruit for this phase of the cycle. Throw a handful in your smoothie, throw a handful of parsley in your smoothie. Uh, the recipe is actually in the guide below. It's a time of really sour is our is our flavor for this phase. So kumquats and lemons and limes and uh, plums and just these grapefruit, really citrus sour flavors during this phase. So if you want to do something citrusy, go for it. Feel free to play with it. But as we move in from the follicular phase to the ovulation phase, we've got more fire. So we move from spring to summer and we move from sour to bitter and we get this really fiery element. So spicy comes up here and uh, arugula, dandelion, these kinds of really bitter herbs that have that spiciness to it are actually perfect during this time. So I actually use dandelion in the recipe, but you could substitute anything or you could keep using parsley if that's just what you have on hand. Totally fine. There's no wrong way to do this. But you want to take those herbs and those greens into these smoothies and if you can, take it up a notch during ovulation. Taste as you go because a little bit goes a long way. They're very good for the liver, the gallbladder. It's It just gets everything moving. They're so good for your body. And then we move into more of those bright red rich fruits. So the strawberries and the raspberries. Still nice and light. Not quite as heavy as the ones that we were talking about last week in the menstrual phase. Those bright, bright red rich fruits. So it's a really beautiful spot. You can also throw in some more plums here. You could throw in um, apricots. And in fact, I love apricots, but uh, they're not widely available all of the time. And grabbing a bag of organic raspberries or organic strawberries in the frozen food section is so much cheaper than a bag of apricots during the season. So trying to keep this reasonable for you guys here. Those are my two smoothies during this phase. You can get the recipe in the guide. Some ideas for making some different things in there. But just experiment, have fun, and just listen to your body. That's the most important thing that you could possibly do during this phase. So keep in mind, you're setting yourself up for a really great little phase, which is the time between ovulation and your period. PMS lives in this phase of the cycle. If you have that hormonal imbalance, remember it's not a phase of the cycle. You really want to make sure you're setting yourself up to really feel good going into your luteal phase. And these are two smoothies that'll help you get there so that you have a really nice, happy, healthy luteal phase. And we'll get into that next week. All right. Love you, ovary gang. Peace out. And I will see you next week.